Hello everybody, welcome back to an episode of Hyper Time Quest. So we are going to the laboratories, because that's where our uh, good old friend Mr. Gogo is. Uh, oh god, that lady is still watching. Alrighty, so um, that one guy who was over here near the entrance of the laboratory said we just have to follow the pipes. So that's uh, pretty simple. So let's just enter. One thing I very much like about this game is the, the soundtracks, like the music and such. It's just so well done. Yeah, let's just look over here. Okay, so we got a guard over there. Charge! Oh, there's one in my back! Oh god. It was a trap. Okay, we got those two. Didn't realize. Okay, so they like to hide um, their soldiers behind these corners. Okay, got some magic nuts over here. Alright, let's read this, shall we? In keeping with his policy of openness to the world, our King Taskan II has had the great laboratory built. He wishes Taurus to be at the forefront of magical and scientific discoveries. The king has entrusted the running of the laboratory to Rajot, the famous grand magician. Alrighty. Okay. First gonna destroy these. Barrels. Got some arrows in return for that. Okay. Looks to me like we have some sort of puzzle right here. Uh, let's see. This is the door. Alrighty. Um. Yeah. Let's uh, pull this beaver, shall we? Press this button. Oh wait, he looks like the guy that we saved in the era of Task in the First. The one that was locked up in uh, that big ass cage. If you guys remember? In the dungeons? I... I'm free? Oh, thank you, Sir Knight! But... Your sword! <gasps> your livery! It is! It's high! Gogood's friend! Oh, we share the cell here! <laughs> he is a remarkable magician! That madman Rajov keeps him near him. He's desperate to possess his knowledge. I hope Gogood's alright. Sir Knight, you are a friend of Gogood, and therefore a friend of mine. I am Kaltran. I have developed a powerful ice magic. I wanted to use it against Rajoth, as he controls fire, but he's taken it from me. My magic must still be here somewhere. If you find it, keep it as a gift. Good fortune. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty, so he's got uh... Alrighty, um, some sort of magic right here that involves the element ice. Okay, so we're gonna have to open these doors here in order to Yeah, to make sure that that wooden door over there opens. So we're just gonna have to pull the lever again And go to the next door the next cell basically cause that's what these are apparently I'm sorry, Great Rajoth. I still don't have anything, but uh, I promise that... But... You're freeing me? I... Thank you. Thank you so much. But... Aha! Uh -huh, you're that famous knight. That madman Rajoth has put a spell on your friend Gogood to make him talk about you. Rajoth's done the same thing with the other magicians so he can steal their knowledge. He's crazy. 
I'm sure he can't genuinely serve the king. Farewell, sir knight, and thank you. Alrighty, so it seems that Radjot is acting on his own. Not really following uh, King Task in the second, but yeah. He's abroad, so there's a lot of people that can do mean stuff in his absence. Another wizard here. Or magician, or less, because... Great Radjoth! I found it! I found... But you're not Radjoth? I'm free? Ah! But you... You're the famous Hybru travels through... Oops! Oh. I was there when Radjoth made your friend Gogur talk. He seems very powerful, this Black Knight of the future. Okay. It's interesting, uh, well, from a scientific point of view, of course. You're inspiring me to do some research. Right, well, thank you for freeing me, Sir Knight. It seems that a lot of people are uh, beginning to know. Oh, got some yellow herbs right here. Are beginning to know the story about hype, so I'm not sure if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Um, okay, let's hear this uh, puzzle again. Right, and let's find out what button does what. Okay, so that's the first one. Okay, and, I, and then I think it's this one. And I think it's this one again. I'm not. I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, there's another guard over there. There we go. Okay. Whew. No. Where do we go? Oh my god, I did not realize. Okay, so... This... Okay, so there's a gate over here and I'm guessing this is gonna be... Some sort of... Yeah, we have to sprint. Sprint, 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 sprint. Go, 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 Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna keep my uh, weapon close to me. Okay, that's ominous. Ah, no, no! I gave express orders that I wasn't to be disturbed. <laughs> oh God. Oh, there's Goku. Oh, but... Uh, well, well. How interesting. A foreign knight in my domain. This can't just be a courtesy go. No, it isn't. Oh, you've got here in spite of my guards and my obstacles. Oh, well done indeed. You must be so powerful. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so frightened, so terrified. <laughs> anyway, that's enough. You've no business here, you miserable little worm. Wait, haven't I seen you before somewhere? Hmm? Oh, he recognizes us. Uh, oh God, floating armor. Because yeah, he's the boy that in era of Task in the first. He's the one that's like in what front of pity the gatehouse. I leave you, Sir Knight. I'd love to see how you get out of this. <laughs> He's the one in front of the gatehouse of the, the fortress. The one who uh, told us he was going to become a powerful magician. Be careful, Hype. The power of the scepter is awesome. Awesome. Everything flows from it. You must destroy it. 
Find a way to open the gate that protects it. Very well. Oh, you changed colors. Okay, so you got these cages over here, which are buttons that will open that. Okay, there we go. And now we just have to hit it because you can't defeat uh, the Black Knight. There we go. <laughs> okay, we can't we can't free him. But even with the uh, dice ball over here, you need a different form of ice magic in order to uh oh god quickly save first Wait, there's something over there as well, the other side, I want to check that out first. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, what does this say? And in this sense, the Astrolab is a tool which enables you to see all the planets in our solar system at a glance. The sun is situated at the center of the mechanism. When the Astrolab is activated, the, its powerful gears cause the planets to move. It is then possible to observe the rotation of these planets around the sun and to... Okay, so that's just talking about some sort of a machine that basically reenacts uh, the solar system movement and such. The Astrolab. <laughs> so it was you, the famous hype. Now I have no more doubts. You proved it to me by coming here. Oh god. Oh, that's the machine. You're the one who journeys through time with the magic sword, who stole the royal jewel, who flies on the back of a dragon, who wants to take revenge on a mysterious black knight. Impressive! No, 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 really, I'm very impressed! <laughs> but it's all over now! I'll be the one who journeys through time! I'll be master of everything! Prepare to fight the fires of hell! Oh my god. He's just crazy. Ow. Okay, so you gotta move a lot with this this boss, cause because he will use a lot of uh, fire spells. There you go, so you can't stand still because otherwise it'll get you. We got him! Oh god. <laughs> Woo! Defeated Ratchel. Alrighty. Oh, this is the ice spell. Uh, the one that one magician was talking about. Okay. Uh, so let's read first what this says. As desired by the great magician Ratchel, the astrolab of 
Taurus shows the planets of our system according to their size, from the largest to the smallest. Okay, so... We got the sun, we got... what? Well, is purple bigger than blue? Say purple, blue, green, red, yellow. Okay, there must be uh, another room somewhere. Some uh, barrels over here. Okay, let's save first. Maybe, yeah. Maybe interesting if we should, uh, if, if we heal now, because. I don't want to die. Do something stupid. Okay, so where did we come from? We came from there. We just entered there, so that this leaves being the only room. Okay, so here you got the color. So from biggest planet to the smallest. So let's try. Uh, okay, wait. I have to check again. Yes, my memory uh, isn't as it used to be. Purple, blue, green, red, yellow. Okay. Mark. Okay, so then it's blue purple. Okay, fair enough. There we go. Alrighty. So this should be the the javelin one. Let's see if we uh if we can select it in our uh, inventory. Okay, so we got this one now. Actually, this is pretty interesting because we got the electricity one, like the Trinity one, which uh, releases three bolts of uh, electricity. But then we got the ring one as well. I think that one is better. Um, so yeah, now we got the javelin one, which will allow us to uh, free Gogan. So let's go uh, back to him. There we go. Wow, you got a beard. <laughs> Thank you, Hype. You are you are a great knight. I feared the worst. I I was convinced you'd arrive in time. I underestimated you. Please forgive me. Nobody's. Good. Quickly now. We must get out of here before the fortress guards find us. Okay, so these guards over here in the, the laboratories, they don't seem to really um, get the idea of uh, Task in the Second being all welcome and, and friendly to, to strangers. Because these guys work for uh, Ratchet. Hurry, Hype! We must get away from here as quickly... Okay, as quickly as possible, yeah, I know. Right, let's try to uh, get this first and then use the same spell. Which will allow us to press this button and then open that. Alrighty, go, go, good. Whoa, 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 go, go, good. Oh my god. 
you see that English there? Go, go, good. <laughs> the little, little. Ready. Um, don't think we have to go there anymore. Okay, let's just uh, follow. Go, go. To. Yeah, like, well, this is a long time. Oh, let's go. There we go. Listen carefully, Hype. This is what I've learned over these last few years. Okay. The Royal Jewel has allowed you only one leap through time. Now you need to find the Jewel of Mankind. You need a jewel for each leap in time until you get back to your own era. And you must charge these jewels with energy from the sky in the era that you are in. I've also learned that the more jewels you possess, the more powerful your sword becomes. When you've found the Jewel of Mankind, come to my manor and I'll have some more information for you. To find your jewel, I suggest you go to the treasure room at the Field of Courage. It's difficult to get in. It's said that the brigands are trying to get in through a secret passage in the forest. That's all I know. Okay. Good luck. Give me time to get away before you leave. The guards mustn't see me with you. Alrighty. So yeah, that explains everything. So we got a jewel for each leap in time. So for each era, you need one jewel to be able to progress to the next one. So that means we still have to find two more jewels. So the jewel of mankind, and then basically, in yeah, in order to, for us to get from this era to the next one, to Task in the Third, and then another jewel. Which will allow us to go to our own time, basically, from Task on the Third to Task on the Fourth. Alrighty. Um, so, yeah, we have to go to the forest. Ooh. We've drawn something. Okay, so that's where the secret entrance is. Very well. Uh, let's go to the forest then, shall we? Let's first. Pay a visit to the uh, Here Axman. we forge good things, and we forge them for good. Make your choice. Uh, we're gonna... There you go. There you go. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. I look forward to seeing you again, Sir Knight. Thank you. After that trouble with Ratchet, our arm was, was yeah pretty beat. So had a couple of dents in it, so we had to repair it. stuff here okay so that was everything let's um, go into the forest shall we gotta watch out for these jumps though Brigand over there? That's probably the secret entrance. Let's go! Chad! You can't freaking beat me. Oh Jesus. There may be even dozen of you. Oh whoa! Do you see that dodge? Can't handle them dodges. Okay, um You should open that. Then we are able to uh oh, there's one more. Oh, what? You are handsome. You are strong, Sir Knight. You are strong, but we are many. You take his crossbow and his plastics. But there's only one guy I just defeat. <laughs> wow. Right -o, Karen. Consider it done. Oh. I'm Karen, leader of the brigands. I'll leave you your sword, you'll need it. You see, handsome knight, I know who you are. They say you can journey through time. Your powers may be useful to me. I'd like to get into the treasure room at the Field of Courage to avenge my father. 
His name was Baldock, and he was the architect who built the Field of Courage. But Taskan the First never paid him for it. Right now, we can't get into the treasure room, so I have a mission for you. Find my father in the past, in Torres, and show him my bracelet. He'll know you've come on my behalf. Ask him to devise a way of getting into the treasure room. If you succeed, I'll give you your money, your crossbow, and a signed pass, and the brigands will be your allies forever. Okay. So... Radio. So this is kind of a... Uh, interesting. It just took away our plastics and crossbow. And we have to go back into the past to the era of Tuscan the First to talk to Karen's father, which is um, which is Baldock, the ar architect. Seems like Tuscan the First was so greedy that he, w yeah, he didn't pay uh, the architect for his work, which uh, is I'm guessing the cause of all the. Uh, Rebellious acts of the brigands outside the fortress and outside the town of uh, Taurus, because uh, the dollar is uh, looking for a way to to avenge her father. Okay, so let's go back. It's time. Don't think they're gonna be very happy with us there. You've just stolen the royal jewel here. <laughs> I mean, pretty much all the guards are probably looking after us. Um, let's first destroy this, maybe we get something, nope, okay. Um, where was Baldock again? I think it was one of the these side streets, oh, there we go. Uh, let's give him the bracelet. Hello, I, what's that you're saying, Knight? You, you've come from the future? Yep. On behalf of my daughter, Karen? Yep. And she's given you her bracelet to prove it? That's incredible. But but I know that if you have her bracelet, it's because that's what she wanted. I've heard of you, Sir Knight. The guards are looking for you everywhere. Oh, God. Rumor has it that you vanished into thin air. Now I can believe it. Right then, that's settled. I'll devise an opening system for the treasure room at the Field of Courage. Karen will have the key. Nice. Farewell, Sir Knight. And don't forget to return the bracelet to Karen. Alrighty. That was pretty easy. So now we have to go back... Uh, back to the future. Let's go uh, back to Karen. Got a lot of free stuff again on the in the gatehouse here. Plastics. Go back to that secret entrance and just give the bracelet back to uh, to Karen. What these bats do? She's not here anymore. But there's still a brigand guy over here who hasn't attacked us. Karen sent me with a message for you, Sir Knight. She still doesn't trust you, so she wants a meeting in our village. We've opened up the hollow tree that leads there for you. It's a bit further on in the forest. Be on your way now. No one keeps our leader Karen waiting. Okay. Uh, the hollow tree. Okay, a bit further in the forest, apparently. Oh god, ghosts. Ghosts. Oh! See a hollow tree here. It must be in this next section. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Do we have a way of uh up oh. button? 
<laughs> okay. Got a big uh, elevator coming down here. Alright, let's go uh, up. Brigand village. Don't mind me, I'm just uh, destroying everything here. Okay. What oh, is this? Cool. Okay. There's something over here. I love this music. Nothing over here at all. So I'm guessing this is gonna be Karen's house. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. As promised, here's the brigands' insignia. Proof that we shall be your allies forever. But I still need you. We know the opening system designed by my father. My plans worked. But no brigand has ever come back alive from the treasure room because of the three-headed dragon. Oh, God. With your magic, you can do it. And then I can avenge my father by stealing all the riches in there. Near the gate which closes the treasure room at the Field of Courage, my father sculpted a copy of my bracelet. If you hit it with a crossbow bolt, the gate will open. Before you leave, go and see my guards. They'll make things easier for you. Take care and good luck. Alrighty. You now have the brigands insignia. Okay, so that means we've just become allies with the brigands, which is uh gonna make things easier for us in the forest. Alrighty, so she told us we have to go past her her men over there. They'll have, uh, they'll have some uh, things for us in store. Wait, what's up with... Can we go up here? <laughs> Vaguely remember uh, me jumping on these trees uh, when I was uh, a kid, basically. So it's, there's nothing here. Oh, please don't fall. Alright, so let's just go, uh, go back. Oh. Well, there must be something about you to have convinced Karen so readily. She's got her eye on you, as you might say. <laughs> yes, you're right there. I trust Karen. We shall be allies, Hype. Here's your crossbow. I sharpened the bolts for you myself. Ooh, thank you. I'm the village counterfeiter. Yeah, I made you a fake signed pass, which will get you into the field of courage, no problem. Off nice. you go. Good luck. Be brave like a brigand. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, so that's gonna be... Signed pass to enter the field of courage. Nice. So, now we'll be able to, uh... To enter the field of courage. Okay, so they really want us to to enter it because of the gold and such that that's basically there. But it's pretty interesting for us to enter the field of cards because of the um, the jewel. This is it's highly likely uh, that the jewel of uh, of mankind is over there in those treasure rooms, or, which is gonna help us a lot because then we'll be able to to travel through time to era of Tuscan the Third. But yeah, the brigands are basically doing all of this because, yeah, on behalf of uh, of Karen, basically, because there's uh, apparently a lot of treasure in those rooms, beside the stuff that we need ourselves. Oh my God, that was pretty close. Almost fell there. A 
lot of fun to do. Like you got these barrels constantly. Uh... Oh, a red potion. Got these barrels constantly spawning in again with every loading screen, and it's always free stuff, which is always nice. But yeah, let's uh, enter the town of Taurus again, and we're gonna go to the inn where we'll uh, be able to save. Still only got 8 out of 10 um, beehives, so I missed 2 of those beehives somewhere, but yeah, I'm not gonna be looking for them now, we'll do that in the later part. Okay, so we got a free room up here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish this episode right here because we've dealt with the uh, red shot and the whole laboratories complex and such and uh, In the next episode, we'll be going to the field of courage and uh, Encounter the three-headed dragon So uh, yeah guys make sure to leave a like and favorite this video if you enjoyed watching Subscribe to uh, support this channel and I'll see you In the next episode